Hi, I'm Bertie, and on this episode of my Vintage Recipe Review, we're going to be making a juicy ham loaf accompanied by some hot mustard fruits. spicy. I like to stay on our toes about whether or not we're gonna eat dinner tonight. Betty Crocker classified this under a convenient oven meal. It's a whole menu that provides all sorts of details including an oven timetable if you want to have dinner on the table by 6. Um, it's currently 375 so that probably won't happen but so we're only gonna be making the juicy ham loaf and the hot mustard fruits cuz those sound the weirdest. Let's start with the ingredients for the juicy ham loaf. Ground smoked ham, ground lean pork, Wheaties cereal, eggs, milk, salt, and pepper. And you mix all these ingredients thoroughly. You shape them into an oblong loaf. <laughs> Ungreased nine inch pan. I always prefer to grease my nine inch and you bake it for an hour. So let's see how that is. We already have our first problem in that Ground smoked ham doesn't exist in Albuquerque, New Mexico, at least not at Smith's, which is where I do my shopping. So I improvised and we just got some regular smoked ham and I'm gonna grind it myself right here in front of you. <laughs> Let's see what happens. <laughs> Let's get on grinder, as the children say. Oh no. <laughs> it's too short. What do I do? Where's the little length when you need it? All right, do you think someone's overcompensating? So we have our grinder. Why? Right. Used to being able to see this when I do it. Everything's backwards because I'm trying to show you what I'm doing. I blame you. What I've chosen to do in a completely uneducated way is use the cheese grating one. And we're gonna Rick and Morty this shit. Dave and Buster it. Thomas and Goliath. Beast and Ricky it. We're gonna Beast and Ricky this piece of ham. Okay, let's cut this into ribbons. We don't want it to be too finely chopped. Shove it in there. It's not narrow enough. Okay, let's try again. Okay. Ha ah. No, no! Ah! This didn't work at all. Where's my shover? One moment, please. I found it! Ta-da! Here we go. This was supposed to be a convenient meal. Working, kind of? No, it's not really working. I'm gonna have to redo some of these pieces. Currently pulling the rind out because like it's weird and chunky. I would describe this texture as ground. There's a couple pieces I need to redo because they like slipped through or something. That's a big one. Get in there. All right, we've ground our smoked ham. If you're following along at home, maybe cut the rind off because it's just weird. And upsetting. We now have our half a pound ground smoked ham. Putting that in the bowl. Pulling out the weird pieces. I don't want to make Alex vomit again. <laughs> we'll add our half pound of ground lean pork to this concoction. We shall also add three cups of Wheaties. Now we ended up getting Kroger brand wheat flakes. I googled it. They're close enough to Wheaties. It doesn't say to crumple them, but like, do you really want to come across this in your meatloaf? Someone comment. Tell me what to do. This is a big flake. I don't want that. I'm just gonna give them a squeeze as they, as they go in. Makes me feel strong. One egg. And half a cup of milk. Okay, let me make sure I got everything. Ham, pork, cereal, egg, milk. Oh, I missed the salt and pepper. Teaspoon of salt and an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. And now to mix and form into an oblong <laughs> loaf. Okay. Here we go. 
Why don't I use a spoon? <laughs> What's wrong with me? It smells extremely strongly of cereal, so that's weird. I am glad that I crunched them up because otherwise this would be very odd. It already is odd, but at least now it's like kind of a homogenous oddness. It just smells like cereal. Can't smell anything else. No ham smells, no pork smells. That seems pretty homogenous, all blended together. Well, except for this piece. Let me get my, my pan, my ungreased nine inch pan. I'm supposed to form it into a loaf, so I'll do that now. And does it seem juicy? Kinda. Putting it in here, log style. That's the problem when you don't have a terrible food photo to go off of. You have no idea what it's gonna look like, and maybe we wouldn't be making this recipe if we knew what it was gonna look like. Okay, let me rinse my hands off, cause they're gross. And hammy. Now that we have our oblong loaf formed, let's put it in the oven for an entire hour. Juicy ham loaf. On to the hot mustard fruits. In case an oblong loaf wasn't good enough for you. This one is gonna be something. What, what's a hot mustard fruit? I don't know. In a bowl, we mix butter, brown sugar, prepared mustard, sliced peaches, pineapple tidbits, maraschino cherries, and banana. And we put these in an individual baking dish and put mustard mixture on top and bake for 20 minutes. We're gonna mix together our butter, some brown sugar. Uh-oh, I packed it in there too tightly. Come on, brown sugar. Ah, dirty today. So far, this is a health food. Two tablespoons of prepared mustard. Yellow mustard. Not French's, because this was half the price. Got it just for this recipe. Two tablespoons into this sugar and butter. Mmm. Two, because we like it spicy. I enjoy how mustard makes something spicy in the 50s, 60s, 70s. Basically until food from other places was accepted as American. Got that all mixed in. It says sliced peaches, and these are sliced peaches, so I guess that's what we do, but they seem like really big chunks. Uh, pineapple tidbits, which I assume is the same as crushed pineapple, and maraschino cherries. Mixing this all up with the mustard. We're reserving two tablespoons of the mustard. It is quite a texture. I'm gonna cut these peach pieces in half because they're just too weird. Looking at this, maybe they didn't include the photo for a reason. I'm a little nervous now. Oh, I forgot the banana! That's just gonna add so much. I'll make it even better. Megan, and this is for you. Peel that banana. Mm hmm. Slice that banana. This is a big banana. Banana. Gotta stir that in here. Gotta do it justice. Gotta do Betty justice. I feel like it's supposed to be a more homogenous dish. But that is based solely off of my imagination. Once again, Betty Crocker, providing poor instructions. Maybe people were just more intuitive. Or maybe they just cared less, because they were putting mustard on canned fruit and baking it, so. Uh, divide among baking dishes. Spoon reserved mustard over the top and bake uncovered for 20 minutes. That's these. I'm gonna use an ice cream scoop because that sounds upsetting. Spooning in our delightful mix. I budgeted for one maraschino cherry per cup. Spoon our reserved mustard over each one. Trying to make it look appealing, but not really succeeding. There they are. Hot, fruity mustard cups to go with our juicy ham loaf. We'll put these in for the last 20 minutes of the ham so they all get baked up together and See you in 40. 40 minutes and almost two cocktails later, it's time to put the hot mustard fruit in the oven. <laughs> See you in 20 minutes and maybe another cocktail. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, it's a hot mustard fruit! And some juicy ham loaf! which makes our baked ham dinner, southern style, complete. It smells pretty good, actually. Like, I'm only a little bit nervous to try this food. The loaf maintained its loafy form. Oblong, juicy, hemmy. The hot mustard fruit smells like hot mustard. I think the sugar kind of caramelized and 
Well, let's get a plate. <laughs> Cut a piece of hot, juicy ham loaf. I hope it cooked. Yep, yeah, that's hammy. You can see the cereal. It didn't just like, you know, disintegrate or something, so there's cereal in there. And let's see about getting one of these hot mustard fruit cups out. Oh, well, there we go. Hot mustard fruit. Man, that smells like a cooked banana. Juicy ham loaf up first. My first impression is it's not actually that juicy. It's, it seems a little dry. It's a little dry. It's upsetting. It tastes like cereal and ham. Well, I hope it was some magic. It didn't happen. Oh man. I wonder if it's like kind of dried out on the end. Let's try a little bit of a more middle piece. Mmm. Much juicier. Still gross. Let's try some mustard, hot mustard fruit. <laughs> Odd, but not bad. Definitely odd. I don't hate it, but I, I don't like it. I don't like it. Hey, want some juicy ham loaf? Some juicy ham loaf? Yeah, and some hot mustard <laughs> fruit. Is that not what you meant? I mean, is it not what I meant? Yeah, it tastes exactly like ham and Wheaties. <laughs> so fucking weird. Which, like, I never thought... I'd have to describe that. <laughs> right? Try the hot mustard fruit. It's like vaguely mustardy and sweet. So, smell. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Don't vomit. It's better than the salmon. Okay. Like, I could, I, I, I could eat this. Yeah. But at no point would I want to. If I was starving... Aren't you starving the... right now? Yes. So if I was starving... I would be lukewarm about this food. <laughs> Sounds real great, but it tastes real mediocre. You want to order a pizza? Yeah, I pizza. really want to order. You want to order a pizza? Yeah.